Hi, I'm Pablo Spechalski and today I learned that A. Apparently I'm stupid and B. You have to pay for your stupidity. But long story short, I'm a person that takes the IT security somewhere in the middle but definitely above the average because although i'm not a security freak i also rotate my password i have complex passwords i use passwords managers wherever i think it makes sense i set up always the multi-factor authentication either with the sms or with some kind of authenticator app and in general every time i feel that my security security of my it systems i run because i I do run some systems it's kind of not maybe up to the standard i really expected to be i try to do something about this and um, apparently that was not really enough because what happened um for unknown until today to me reason i never set up the multi-factor authentication for my aws account the same account the root account that i use for amazon shopping and other things like that if you ask me why i never thought that it's a good idea to set up the mfa for my amazon account i will have to say i'm stupid i'm just stupid just like that and uh Somewhere during the night, uh, the email was sent to me uh, from the AWS team that, hey, we think that your account was compromised. Um, please do something about it. Check uh, if there is someone having an access and, and so on. And don't worry, we more probably your credit card information has not leaked out. <laughs> so, okay, in the morning, like I checked, okay, yeah, mm -hmm, well, well, I still can log in. Nothing is wrong. So maybe so everything is go. I click to the uh billing manager and see oh fuck five hundred dollars after really digging up what happened i have no idea how i have no idea how why well i know why i know why i have no idea how my password to my aws account leaked although it's not uh, none of the scanners show that it's leaked so i just like really no idea and the bitcoin miners yes the my favorite bitcoin miners got the access to my aws uh, cloud what they did well the first thing i just checked is the i2c are there any i2c instances oh yeah bloody hell there is large x12 instance that was running for a few hours now it stopped so i checked every every possible region i found like 20 or 30 instances of the strongest i2c instances i could find that were all stopped and the billing for them was around 300 dollars okay and um, I wrote to AWS, okay, guys, sorry, someone, can we do something like that? Okay, I, I'm asking, I'm still waiting for any kind of the reply. But that's only the beginning. I terminated all the A2C, uh, the A2C instances that uh, somebody created on my behalf and then checked what else might be happening. And I found the Lambda. One single Lambda, one Lambda that generated during the night the cost of around $50 and the lambda i cannot delete i cannot modify the lambda i cannot disable the lambda i cannot delete the lambda because apparently the abusive crypto miners found a way to inject a lambda when they get access to your account in a way that you as the root owner of the account cannot remove the lambda they did some kind of the trick with the event browser and uh, that this is true triggered by the events and you cannot really do anything about it even if you even after i deleted the broker that was sending that was triggering the lambda it the lambda was still uh, activating itself and honestly if i had no idea what's happening in some of the aws services i would probably never found a good solution to the to the problem because to now that what i had to do is to recheck all the security aspects and remove really delete all the keys i had generated for the aws account as a result as a result i'm 500 dollars 
uh, less wealthy right now because uh, I will have to pay AWS for the time those E2C instances and lambdas uh, computed during the night. I hope that maybe someone will recognize that maybe, okay, it's not fault, it was malicious, maybe we will like not. I don't think that it will happen, but I hope I prefer to have this. $500 than not to have those $500. But the lesson I really learned today, always set up MFA for anything you want. If the service does not offer you the MFA, then that means that probably you can just forget about the service, have the MFA, and also that the application running on your Android or uh, iPhone device is maybe not really the most secure. And from what I know, the most secure way to secure your access to stuff with the MFA is to use the hardware keys. Funny fact, half a year ago I was thinking should I buy the hardware key to secure my access to everything and then yeah I have this application should be fine should be fine and this is expensive like a hundred dollars. Now half a year later I would be five hundred dollars ahead of mine. So quick advice Always secure everything with MFA, recheck password, recheck uh, security policies, rotate password, do not reuse the same password in different places, and always really like pay attention to the emails you are getting. <laughs> because if you own anything that has access to and even remote access to your money, you might be just a less, less wealthy person in just a few hours. And yes, I hate crypto miners. I do hate crypto miners with all my heart right now. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one. Bye-bye.